Hey guys, Simon here. Today it is Saturday, and what I have created, I have created bowling in Minecraft. Let's get started and see how you can install this one command creation in your world. Okay, we successfully installed the machine and now all you have to do, you have to click on this sign, click it and you'll get two spawn eggs. Then choose a place where you want the bowling track to appear and right click with the bowling spawn egg. We have now a bowling track. You receive when you spawn the track some instructions which uh, explains how to play, how the points are calculated. To start off playing I recommend changing your game mode to 2 which is adventure mode so you will not see the hitboxes of the barriers which blocks you from uh, entering the track and in order to play you have to stand on these first two blocks of the track if you stand here and you throw the ball it will say that the ball needs to be inside the bowling track so you can't uh, just throw the ball wherever you want okay so we are standing here and now all you have to do you have to press Q or the drop item key and the ball will be thrown as you can see we just got a strike so we hit uh, all of the 10 pins. Eight pins down. And we have two pins remaining. We throw the ball and let's see if we can get a spare. Yeah. As you can see right here on the sidebar we have my score. Uh, as I said the, the scoring system is listed right here. Seven pins and three pins, so we've got a spare again. Okay, one thing that I decided to add in order to make this game more interesting, you see these kind of edges um, that are at the sides of the track? If you throw the ball and the ball hits them, it will bounce. So let's try and see. As you can see it bounced two times now. And the interesting thing about this is that it works exactly like in real life. So if you choose this angulation, the bounce will be less wide and if you choose for example this angulation the bounce will be wider in the meantime we just reached frame 8 there is a total of 10 frames and we are about to get to frame 9 okay so let's see what we get now 6 pins and now we are at the last frame which is the 10th and our score is about 93 the maximum score you can reach in all the 10 frames is 150, so let's see what we get here. We got a total score of 103 points. In order to get the maximum score, which is 150, you have to score 10 strikes in a row. I don't think it is impossible, but it is really, really difficult. So if you manage to get to 150, be sure to tell me, and yeah, congratulations! Whoa, only one pin. One really interesting aspect of this game is that 
in every degree you throw the ball, the ball will follow your rotation. Oh, we got a strike. So if I move slightly, you can see that the ball will go slightly towards that direction. If I go there, it is a really really accurate system. This is not 100% accurate, but it's really really accurate. One thing that I really really love about this is the bouncing system. I love it. And if you were wondering, uh, Simap, do I have to place this alone? Of course not. You can place another bowling track, but you have to make sure that it is at least at 3 blocks of distance. So you get this first track, you count 1, 2 and 3, and then you place the other one. These two will work separately and will work fine. You can play this with another player and see who reaches the highest score. This command was a really really complex command to make and it took me a lot of time, especially creating all the, the ball physics and the bouncing physics and also all the scoring systems which are a bit complicated. So I hope you like this creation and I'll see you this Wednesday with a new tutorial for you. See you, bye! Thank <laughs> you.